All right, hello and welcome back to Let's Play Europe Universalis Free. Uh, well, well, hang on, before we get in, right in there, as you can see, our name kind of goes across Scotland as well, and that's because they're our vassals, so they are technically part of our nation. So when you click on them, you can see there it says Vassal of England. But yeah, that doesn't matter, let's just get right in. Okay, so here we are. Hopefully in this part, the next few parts, we'll be able to get more of a presence on the uh, French mainland. Because our mission, uh, well, if you look here, our mission is to recover Normandy, so we need, it says there, uh, we need to own Co and Normandy, which is going to be quite a hard task. It might even involve a bit of luck with France getting, into, getting involved with some costly war in some other part of Europe. Maybe if Burgundy joins us as well. But they won't accept an alliance, so especially with our relations at minus 146. But yeah, so our army have 17 regiments there, our army have 5 regiments. Scotland has, has a fairly good fleet as well, so that'll be quite useful. And there's our fleet of 30 carracks and 18 cogs. So. There are several ways of like going about recovering Normandy and none of them are really easy to be honest. Generally the way I like to do it is to get into, get involved with a war with Brittany and then take maybe Amo and Finister. Maybe even annex them alright but that probably costs way too much in for me yeah. Since we're already on 9.9 .9, I forgot about that. Yeah so I mean the reason I want to get armor especially first is because w when you when you land troops into like hostile territory even if it's you know not particularly like hostile territory land it landed it in North Africa or something you still get you still suffer quite a lot from attrition and if you don't know what attrition it me means it's basically every month like a certain amount of your troops will die due to you know desertion or disease or you know lack of food and supplies and things like that and yeah so Landing troops just straight into Normandy really hurts the attrition and to be honest you eat all the troops you can get because if you go on the ledger and go to army size you can see France up there with 47,000 and we're all the down here with 22,000 so they've got more than twice as many troops as us. You can also see that Austria has 32,000 men as well so if they help out then you know things could work out maybe get an alliance of Savoy here which would be useful all right so any guys any great men in the court no nah. um one thing you might notice is we haven't really used any uh magistrate check, even though i said they're quite important for building stuff and this is mainly because if you've got a tech rates we're still on free and the first, if you go on here, the first buildings don't become available until you've reached um, te like n technology rate for in each of the different types of technology. So we can't build them yet. So in the meantime, you want to use you you can use them for something else. And that is, if you go to the uh, culture tab here, you see you've got these cultural decisions, and these cost magistrates, but. If you go on one like commission painting, it costs one magistrate, but you do gain five cultural traditions. So, what I like to do is every time I've got you know spare magistrates going around, just always just pump them into especially commission painting because that's quite good. And there's some other good ones here as well, but a lot of them cost money and diplomats and things like that. So we'll use them later on when we can spare more magistrates than we do, than we can. So, just commission five paintings and then. You see cultural tradition go all the way up, and then when we reach a hundred on that, we can afford some really good great men. So, just clicking it five times, so we're out of magistrates. And you can see already you're up to forty cultural tradition. Now this does decay over time, so it won't always stay at forty. It'll sadly gradually decrease, but still, it's always nice to get as high cultural tradition as possible. So. Well, I suppose we don't have to take Armour if we can get military access from Burgundy and then land in Calais and move up to Caux. But still, it's going to be it's going to be quite a challenge. 
I may as well ask Reliance of Savoy, see if they accept. So let's. Ah, uh, they rejected. We'll ask again. Event. Well, what's our relations? Uh, they are in 77, so. Basically, every time you ask for a royal marriage or an, or an alliance and they decline, your relations with them will go down. On top of it, decaying from stuff like infamy. Yeah, infamy is going to be a bit of an issue because. Mm, Partial ones and that as well. Are they at war with anyone? No, they're not. I don't see. Uh, apparently. Oh, yeah, we won't war with them. Yeah, we'll accept. We need as many allies as we can get in this upcoming war. So yeah, Infamy is going to be a problem because in vanilla uh, Divine Wind it doesn't increase as much as it does in this in Misk mod so I'm not quite used to it yet but you can see now it's because our relations have decreased it's already it's went down to impossible. Uh, send them a gift since we've got to spend money, increase our relations. Yeah, if you can see. Oh, we do have a truce with them. I didn't know about that. When's it end? Oh, in f five years? Oh. oh, yes, of course. Yeah, the work well when we declare war in Scotland. Okay, so that's going to give us a lot of time to build up and accumulate allies and money and other things. We'll be able to diplomatic diplomatic Scotland in 1415, so we don't have to worry about that quite yet. In the meantime, I don't really plan on getting in any other wars because, uh, to be honest, there's not much we can do at this point. Are there any crusades going on? Uh, Papacy. Where the controller? Oh. <sighs> Can't ex. Basically, um, yeah. Another thing I've noticed about England when you start them is. In the beginning, they're usually the payable control for quite a while. I'm not sure why, but you know, I'm not gonna you're not gonna complain while you're doing it. And when you are the payable controller, it does give you a, a good good few options for declaring war on people. Like for some nations, you'll be able to excommunicate them, and that gives you a really really nice cast a spell eye against them. But we don't need to use one of them against France because we've already got the reconquest one, which. As you can see, it gives you zero infamy when you take those territories, which is always really nice. But we can also um, call for a crusade against any heretical nations, like all these Muslim nations down here. So, I mean, we're probably not going to do that right now. Maybe after we've dealt with France, we can go and, you know, run around conquering North African provinces, but I may as well call a crusade, but I'm not sure against who. Can we ex Ooh, we can excommunicate Brittany. This could be very useful. I'm gonna, yeah, let's go ahead and excommunicate Brittany. Oh, you see here, this is the uh, Cassus Bellet. We've got excommunicated ruler Cassus Bellet against Brittany. 25% infamy with, for, t as you can see, full annexation or taking, taking any regions really. So it'll only cost us. Uh, one infamy to take a territory which is really cheap. So we'll see if we can declare war on them in the next month when we have a. You can see you've got like a. Yeah, the text there has gone red, which does indicate they've been excommunicated. And might call a crusade against the Ottomans just to help out, you know. To see if any, see if all the Christian nations like gang up on them and take them out. Cause it's always nice for the Ottomans to collapse. Gives you one less, you know, external threat in Europe. So there we see the allied with Burgundy and Savoy. Oh. Send another gift to Savoy. Yeah, I mean Burgundy, I'm not worried about, even though they bought with Calais because. It's the same deal with France, you know, they're only going to take Calais and that's a really tiny and insignificant province. And as long as they don't land on the mainland, then they'll just white piece out eventually. Aragon I don't see as being much of an issue since they're in a pretty costly war with Spain right now. So that won't worry. Savoy, I'm, I'm kind of disappointed because I wanted an alliance with them. Maybe I can get one with Switzerland instead. 
Oh, we don't need it. Might just have to wait for them to come up again. Uh, wait till next month. Alright. Oh. Gascon Revolt. 16 Nationalist Regiments rise have been Gascon over there. That's weird since it's a 0% revolt risk anyway. You don't usually get these if there's no revolt risk. Uh, we're going to negotiate. I don't want to deal with another 16 regiments right now. So we only lose 30 Ducats and get minus 5% tax in that one region. So, Oh no, it's the... Either way, only last a year, so it doesn't matter. Alright, so... Wait, oh, we do have one diplomat, so we can declare war on them. Will Portugal join us? Scotland and Austria will join, but Portugal won't. Um, I want to get. I don't want to get Austria involved in a potentially bad war with Burgundy, so I won't call any allies to this one. Before we declare war, I may as well get our troops in position, ready to strike. I'm. I'm not really worried about the army of Brittany. It must be really tiny, to be honest. As long as France doesn't get involved with us, which I don't think they will since we've got a truce going on. Send these troops down there. So, I may as well throw down a save just in case. I always tend to throw down a save before any potentially risky war because, you know, the game's so unpredictable, anything really could happen. And I'm trying to actually succeed in this game, so. Okay. Whoa, declare war, excommunicated ruler. I wish you could see what the chances of them joining were, but uh, yeah, we won't join. We want to keep Portugal as our ally. If to just fought any um, people that might declare war on us, we've got another nation to worry about. So let's get this going. Land our troops. Yeah, we do have a general, so we'll be fine. Burgundy and Savoy joined, but not Aragon, which I'm not surprised. Savoy won't do anything, but Burgundy, just I'll make sure they don't land in the mainland and we'll be fine. Hopefully they don't have military access with France, so they won't be able to... Corsica joined as well, but who cares, really. So we'll send our fleet in straight to Dover, so you can see that's where their fleet is. I mean, it's only three characters for Cogs, but... One of those little complications as possible here. So you can see, um, already we've got a 7.5% attrition rate. Even though, you know, it's only ammo we just landed. And already we're down to 15,000 men. That's why I wanted a border province first. Austria? What? Oh. This is bad. Okay. I don't. I mean, they're not going to do anything because they're landlocked, but still. It would have been nice to have them as an ally. Okay. I actually wonder where Brittany's army actually is. The war of anyone else? The yeah, war of Castile. Of course, it'll be in Castile, so nothing they can do about it. Oh, survivor landed troops. Quickly send the fleet there and back. Yeah. Let's destroy their fleet. I mean, how many regiments are on there? Only four. I mean, this should be able to take care of anywhere. Well, let's give them a. Mm, yeah, let's give them Henry the Fourth and send them into attack. Not anticipate losing, but you know, you never know. Looks like they're retreating up there. Um, fleets have a have a habit of they do the same thing when you beat an army as well, where they'll retreat to an adjacent province. Usually, they'll they should have retreated into the harbour, but 